Hello everyone, Gianluca Massi speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project and it's a pleasure for me to be here now live once again bringing to you something special happening in the sky. While we are here to hopefully track live this small asteroid just uh, leaving us after a very close but safe close approach, I have to say that the weather here in Italy is far from being cooperating, so unfortunately we have clouds and we cannot run this live feed live as I wanted. So I'm sorry for this, but you know, we don't have any control on the weather. First of all, I want to thank all of you for joining. I will be sharing a few images I grabbed the last days and uh, hopefully this will give you the flavor of this uh, close approach no matter the weather. Before I start sharing these images I want to thank the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope project and they are Unitron Italia Instruments, Software Bisc, SeaWeb and Telescope Live. I also want to thank all the international media which featured our live feed making possible for a lot of people to join and uh, to know and learn about this opportunity. That said, my friend, I want to remind why we are here. You know, a few hours ago of a small asteroid, well, not that small, because it was, uh, after all, just of a reasonable size, the asteroid 2023 DZ2 had uh, a safe but very close approach coming as close as about 170,000 kilometers from the Earth. That asteroid has an estimated size, size between 40 and 90 meters. And because it was not that small, at the minimum distance, this object could be even spotted with a, by a, a small telescope. And those of you living in the right place could have that experience, not here in Europe, because at the time, or at the minimum distance, or better, just a bit earlier, when the object was peaking in brightness, it was, uh, I mean, below the horizons, and that made it impossible, at least in Italy, to see. And also, no matter the, uh, the day, I mean, the weather, would have made it impossible to spot, as it is doing now. This small object has been uh, discovered recently, and uh, it has been uh, discovered last uh, February 27 from uh, La Palma, Canary Islands, and uh, as I said, it had the minimum distance to fly by with us a few hours ago. I want to say also another thing that perhaps you have seen. Soon after it was discovered, this object was uh, considered worth of attention because there was uh, a small probability to have uh, an impact uh, in a few years by now, but I want to tell that it was just a technical probability. What I want to say, when you discover an asteroid, you don't know its orbit. You need more observation to refine the knowledge of the orbit. And I think this is quite obvious to understand, because to propagate into the future the position of the asteroid, to evaluate if there is any risk of impact with the Earth, you need a good orbit. And to have a good orbit, you need time to observe. As soon as it was discovered, after a few observations, the orbit was still uncertain, and even with that uncertain orbit, it was possible to evaluate if there was a chance of an impact in the, the next future, and that there was, a, I mean, a, a, a technical possibility for an impact in a few years by now. But as I say, it was just uh, an impact scenario due to the poor knowledge of the orbit. And in fact, as soon as more observations arrived, we could refine the orbit 
and we could eliminate completely that uh, marginal risk of impact. This is quite normal because you have you you have a dynamical situation. I mean, new observations are coming. You refine your calculation and you see if a possible impact scenario is confirmed or not. This is happening regularly with other asteroids and it happened with this as well. But this object was soon removed by this uh, attention list because, as I said, it was just the poor knowledge of the orbit at the beginning to offer to perhaps include the, the possibility of an impact. But this has been completely ruled out. And now I want to share a few images of this object I could collect, collect with my telescope just uh, a few days ago. Here it is uh, one. This is uh, our object, 2023 DZ2, imaged about 10 days ago, not too much time after it was announced to the astronomical community. As I said, it was discovered late in February and uh, it was announced on uh, March 16. <clears throat> Sorry. And this image was collected the same day it was announced. I want to remind that this object is uh, not that small and uh, it is uh, perhaps uh, 50 meters large, which is interesting. It is significantly more, perhaps twice the size of the famous object involved in the famous Chelyabinsk meteor, something happened in 2013, and uh, perhaps you have, you have read or uh, you have heard about that. So this is a relatively large object, but as I said, it is the one we had uh, a few hours ago was and it was clear since the very beginning, a truly safe close encounter. Just spectacular because considering the not small size of this object and the close proximity of the asteroid that fell by time, it was visible with a small telescope and a good binocular, just uh, if, you, if, you know, if you knew where to look. And this image was collected, as I said, on uh, March 16 with our main robotic telescope here in Italy. A few days ago, I could capture a new image of the same rock as you can read on the uh, the thumbnail here on the caption sorry and a few days ago i could image again this object 2023 dz2 while it was significantly brighter than the initial attempt because it was closer as you can see at the time i did this picture the asteroid 2023 dz2 was uh, about one 0.8 million of kilometers at that time it was still safely approaching us and uh, just to conclude using uh, images i could collect look here this is uh, just a small uh, time lapse with the asteroid moving through these uh, few images so that you can have a flavor of its motion, as I said. I could collect these uh, four days ago from uh, our observatory. So I'm very sorry, as I said, that uh, I could not bring live images, as we have done many times, because of the weather now. We are, we are cloudy and I cannot open the observatory and no matter that of course we we cannot see the object because <clears throat> there is a strong cloudy coverage i'm sorry for this but 
that is mother nature you know the last word is up to hate to mother nature and uh, i was happy at least i could share with you these uh, images i could capture in the past nights when the sky was much better i hope that uh, you could have fun looking at these images but i want to remind you about something uh, we are going to share live very soon i mean in uh, a bit more than uh, 24 hours you can check our website www.virtualtelescope.eu to learn the fine details i mean in uh, one day by now we will be sharing something uh, special i mean the dwarf planet ceres which was considered an asteroid for a long time since was discovered basically the first asteroid actually discovered in 1801 this uh, huge small body now considered a dwarf planet has a pluto to be clear will just transit a scene from the earth in front of a very beautiful galaxy messier 100 we will be sharing live this and uh, just to enjoy that uh, great pulse you just need to join our website in about 24 hours the details are available on www.virtualtelescope.eu and of course this is uh, as always with us a free event you can join for free we never ask for money to join but of course there are bills to be paid this is why we really welcome generosity from you if you want to support you can donate to the virtual telescope project just visit www.virtualtelescope.eu slash donate and from there you can help us keeping this project alive as i said we am bringing to you hundreds of astronomical events over the last 16 years since we started operations and now we have a, a huge reputation just assuring that we are doing a great job and uh, all this is done for our love for the sky we really love to share what we love and i hope despite the clouds at least we could have uh, uh, some some uh, good images of this object collected uh, the past days including this time lapse with the object moving and uh, i hope to see you around again and uh, to see you on board of the virtual telescope in the near future the next event is in about uh, 25 26 hours by now details on www.virtualtelescope.eu that's all from Gianluca Masi virtual telescope project Italy I hope to see you again take care keep looking up and if you want if you can if you think we are worth your support consider donating to our project just join www.virtualtelescope.eu slash donate and from there help us keeping alive this project that's all my friend i'm sorry for the cloudy weather this time the stars were not with us better luck next time Gianluca Masi virtual telescope project italy